Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we continue our journey throughout the beautiful country of Colombia into the lakes and colorful town of Guatape. This has been a fame holiday spot for locals and even the infamous Pablo Escobar. So come along for the ride as we explore this idyllic escape and go into this hinterlands. Morning, bestie. So we are in the Colombian countryside for a little breakfast on our day trip to Guatape. But we are gonna be exploring a little another small town. So first, we're at Deliciosa a la Abuela. Um, I apologize for my Spanish accent uh, and betraying such a beautiful language. But we're here for breakfast and it's this cute uh, farm in the countryside. There's like little chickens and roosters and all these beautiful flowers and plants all around. We're gonna get a, uh, uh, oh, well, I'm gonna get some chocolate milk for breakfast because that's like quite a common drink for breakfast here as well as some eggs and some corn pancakes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I just slipped up down on these stairs. <laughs> Uh, and while that is being prepared, I'm just exploring the grounds. Look at this. You ever seen this? It's like purple, purple plants. So beautiful. And then afterwards, we're gonna continue our drive to the lakes. I'm gonna show you this beautiful, beautiful day that I am so excited for in Colombia. I love this. There's like all these beautiful vintage knickknacks around here. I'm gonna show you this little side shop next to the farm. A little pit stop in the town of El Peño and that is cool cool rock church well the church is built in a rock or looks like a rock because it's supposed to symbolize the nearby Guanatope rock which is an icon and where we'll be going soon funky shape they all come in from squares to I don't even know what this is it looks like a UFO like a volcano shape kind of. this is a pina colada flavor oh I love anything coconut this is the most popular activity in Guatape and something that every visitor needs to do. The rock of Guatape or El Peño is the second largest monolithic rock as you can see it's friggin huge in South America next to only Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio, Brazil. It is just this massive huge monolith the El Peño and it stands over 600 feet high offering these incredible views of the area from the top but even before we make it up to the top dear lord now we are going to climb this iconic piece of rock in Guatapu. i mean if this isn't intimidating i don't know what is look at look at all this going all the way up pray for me pray for me i have not been exercising this would be my trial by fire. Now we make the ascent. Of course, there's gorgeous views 
all along the way. Look at that. I mean, even with a soundtrack from the little restaurant downstairs that adds to it. We made it, out of breath, but what a sight. Oh. <sighs> now, after that climb, this is well deserved. Look at this cute strawberry ice cream. I feel so accomplished right now. Mm. Guatape already has my eyes in a heart shape. Look at these beautiful, okay, first the stone road, so cool. And then these beautiful, colorful houses. Just feel like I've stepped into a whole different world. Guatape is located on the shores of the Embalese Guatape, a sprawling artificial lake. It is known for the fresco-like adornment of its traditional houses that you can see in all these beautiful colors and murals. It's brightly painted bas relief depicting people, animals, and shapes covering the lower half of these many dwellings. And it's just so cute. I mean, it's no wonder that throughout Colombia, this town is known as one of the most colorful and beautiful towns in the whole country. Historia humana y historia de salvación. Historia cubana, I love these tuk-tuks all over town. They're so colorful. They're all decked up too. And then we open up to this beautiful square. <sighs> All the splash of colors. I'm gonna enjoy my treat here. Ooh, maybe I'll sit over there with the stairwells. Guatape also has a picturesque mall square called Plaza de los Zocalos. Surrounding the square are colorful buildings and one of the best coffees in the regions. Now, this is called Calle de Recuerdo which is known as the most beautiful street in Guatape. I mean, I can see why, all right? And this is also a replica of one of the streets of the old town before the area was actually flooded back then to create hydroelectric dams. And you know, those dams are connected to those lakes that we saw from the rock before. We're gonna be exploring the lakes a little later on. So the street here is just, so beautiful and the cobblestones against the zocalos are just makes for the perfect combination i think this is one of the best things to do just wander around guaratape and just explore these colorful beautiful streets and see what is there to discover because every single corner here has something cool whether it's a beautifully crafted fountain or little murals against these walls I love the 3D pieces everywhere. Like it's 3D plane. And then we have these 3D donkey. And look at this family mural with these walls. Such a beautiful alley. I think it's a donkey. I think it's a donkey. 
It's a horse? I think so. Oh shoot, it is really big. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we are going off to lunch because I am hungry. We we'll get some Colombian food and then we're going to get on a boat ride because you can't be in this region without exploring the waters. Lunch time. There are so many pretty little towns and squares all over Colombia, especially with these gorgeous churches. And sometimes wandering around, I still have to remind myself how surreal it is to be here exploring them. All aboard! Now we're off on a boat tour to the lake that we saw from the huge rock. Our boat tour pulled out of Cotuape and within a few minutes, we were able to see El Peño in the distance. From there, we continued past beautiful homes owned by Colombian actress Amparo Cresales and singer Maluma amongst like famous footballers as well. Continuing along the lake with our boat tour, we came to this huge gigantic cross that marks the location of a church that was in the original town of El Peño. Now, this town was originally founded back in 1714, but the whole town had to be relocated in 1978 after construction of the hydroelectric dam nearby that was basically made to use to create this lake. All right, you can't go to Cuatape and not see or talk about its history that intertwines with Pablo Escobar. I mean, the spot he chose to holiday on was on these shores of the Peño Reservoir in this idyllic resort town. And since we're here, well, to this day, you can see the ruins of Escobar's lavish estate. And the state was called La Manuela, which is such a pretty name. And it was named after his daughter. But in 1993, it was bombed by Los Pepes, a vigilante group, and now La Manuela is overtaken by nature and left, well, you can see it here now. As our boat ride in the lake reservoir comes to an end, so is our time in Guatape. But that's not all for our travels throughout Colombia. In the next vlog, I continue onwards up further north in Colombia and take you along for the journey. But for now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already to continue your travels with me.